Hey you guys, your boy Melvin Tay one me. So I was watching a video by DJ Academics AK and he was talking about um how you know people should not be mad when they compare to somebody who's at the upper level. And I agree with that. However, he said that some people um compare him to Charlemagne the God. And when he said that, I I really was like, mm, I don't I I mm, I just don't see it. Now, granted, let me make this disclaimer first. I'm not going to just hate on academics. I'm just saying I don't see it. And let me explain why before you actually just jump to conclusions and jump on some negative BS. Um, first off, I commend academics for the lane he's, he's created for himself. Academics can create a, has created a lane for himself um, that, is, that is moving forward. He um, it with, it with his YouTube channel, social media, and everyday struggle. And um, I... Whether I agree with somebody or not, I can never hate and never will hate on somebody's rise or somebody's game. But here's my thing. For people to compare him to Charlemagne the God, here's my thing. Charlemagne may do things that maybe some people can make consider mean or, or rude. And sometimes he do say stuff where I'd be like, Charlemagne, come on, bro, don't do that. But Charlemagne is on a different level than academics, and you can't really compare the two and explain why. Um, Charlemagne one to me, I consider like a DJ and a multi um, entertainment kind of um, personality. Meaning that you know, yes, he mostly does stuff in the hip hop community, but he'll transcend to stuff like politics and movies and stuff like that. DJ Academics is primarily hip hop based, so for me, for DJ Academics to really be considered um, the next Charlemagne, he's really got to just break out of hip hop mode. Because to me, I just look at him as just a hip hop blogger, because that's um, what ninety percent of his, his stuff is. We don't. We're granted. Don't get me wrong. Whatever lane you build for yourself, that's good. But it's just Charlemagne is 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 more. Um, it, it, there's more layers to him. Second of all, um, the reason why you can't compare um DJ Academics to Charlemagne the guy is because Charlemagne is supports a lot of causes that DJ Academics um would throw shade at or won't support. Let's be keep it real. Um. He's, you know, Charlemagne the God has been a big supporter of the LGBTQ community. You know, he's had Janet Mock on there. He's had um Sydney Star. He's had Freaky Boys. He had he's had Sir Brock. He's had um Milan on there. So he's been a great supporter. Um, so much to the fact that people actually say he's gay. And he doesn't worry about it, he just does him. Um did the academics, he he says, you know, um, what you are is what you are. I don't have a problem with that. And the thing about it is, I believe that I'm not just saying that he he's just like this hateful homophobe person. But what I'm just saying is, is the fact that um, there you can you can fix your mouth to say anything, but actions speak louder than words. And Charlemagne's actions have spoke louder than your words. So that's the reason why I, I just feel like I I don't see it. Like it's certain comparisons I see when people say Sierra is this generation Janet Jackson. I kind of see that. Uh, when people say Rihanna is like the black version of this generation Madonna, I can see that. But when it comes to DJ Academics being like the next Charlemagne the God, I, I just, I'm sorry, I just don't see that. So shout out to Charlemagne the God for doing this thing. DJ Academics, congratulations on the lane you, you've invented for yourself, but I just don't see it. All right, you guys, like, subscribe, comment, and share. Bye.